Today, we have some exciting news for you about Samsung's upcoming mid-range chip and the future Galaxy A50 sticks. If you're a tech enthusiast or just love keeping up with the latest in mobile technology, you're in the right place. So let's dive right in. Samsung is known for its innovative and powerful chips and looks like they're developing a new mid-range Exynos chip. This chip is rumored to be featured in the Galaxy A56 next year. According to Galaxy Club, this new chip is known by its model number as S5E8855 and has the codename Santa sounds festive, doesn't it? Now let's take a step back and look at Samsung's naming convention for their chips. The current Galaxy A55, which was released in March this year, uses the Exynos 1480 chip. This chip is codenamed Rose and has the model number as 5E845. Following Samsung's usual numbering pattern, the new S5E8855 will most likely be called the Exynos 1580. So what do we know about this Exynos 1580 chip so far? Well, not much beyond its model number and codename. Galaxy Club hasn't revealed any other details, probably because there isn't much information available yet. Remember, the Galaxy A55 and its Exynos 1480 chip were only launched three months ago. The Exynos 1480 itself is quite impressive. It brought significant improvements, including the first mid-range AMD-powered GPU. This was a big step for Samsung, showing their commitment to bringing powerful features to their mid-range devices. But here's the thing, we don't expect Samsung to make huge upgrades to their mid-range chip two years in a row. However, there's always room for improvement, right? One area where Samsung could focus is the Neural Processing Unit, or NPU. Enhancing the NPU could bring Galaxy AI features to mid-range devices, which would be a fantastic upgrade. Imagine having advanced AI capabilities on your mid-range phone, like improved photo processing, smarter voice assistants, and more efficient performance. It could really elevate the user experience. Of course, this all depends on Samsung's strategy. They might decide to keep these AI features exclusive to their flagship phones for another year or two to boost flagship sales. But who knows? Samsung could surprise us, just like Santa surprises kids every year. Speaking of surprises, we're always on the lookout for the latest news and updates. As soon as we get more information about the Exynos 1580 and the Galaxy of 56, we'll let you know. So make sure to stay tuned to our channel. In the meantime, if you're in the market for a new mid-range phone, the Galaxy of 55 is still a great option. With its Exynos 1480 chip and impressive features, it offers excellent value for money. From its sleek design to its powerful performance, the Galaxy A55 is a solid choice for anyone looking for a reliable and capable smartphone. That's all we have for today. I hope you found this video informative and exciting. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out and keeps you updated with the latest tech news. What are your thoughts on the new Exynos chip and the upcoming Galaxy A56? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. As always, see you in the next video. Today, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. The Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go U25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilly smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. 
This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices long leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone, expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6's overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.